Hello, this is Marcus again with Aquarium Hacks. Um, I just want to show you how I'm going to set up this second EHAM 2217. I'm going to set, set it up uh, on my 90-gallon uh, uh, aquarium here, my 5-foot 90-gallon acrylic aquarium. Um, and I don't really have to set this up for extra filtration. I mean, I've got enough with, the, with another EHAM 2217 running on it and the uh, Title 75 uh, filled with pot scrubbies. Uh, but the reason, the only reason why I'm setting up this second one is for one thing, I enjoy doing stuff like this. I really do. It's just so, so fun. And then also, um, I have golden pothos, uh, as you can see here, that are growing out of my tank. Now, what I'm planning on doing here in the very near future is getting some uh, a mono shrimp that I'm growing out right now in my 20-gallon tank. Uh, so I'm going to get some amono shrimp once they grow out and get big enough, two and a half inches or so. Uh, I'm going to put them in here. And amono shrimp have a bad habit of crawling out of the plants. I mean, not the plants, but out of the uh, fish tank. Uh, so if you don't have everything covered. So these golden pothos give these amono shrimps the perfect place for them to crawl out of the uh, tank and to get on the floor and dry up and die. Matter of fact, I've had that to happen in my 40 gallon with golden pothos. Um, had uh, 10 amono shrimp I ended up I believe with the six because four of them crawled out of there they crawled obviously on the golden pothos and uh, crawled out and so I'm going to take my golden pothos and actually put them in my CKM 75 title and take the media the seated media from my CKM 75 title and put it in this um, Eham 2217 and so it's going to be a little work in prog progress I'll show you everything that I'm doing with it but just to let you know how I'm setting this one right here up uh, now on the bottom of this Eham 2217, I've got the famous Eham uh, course pad that's on the very bottom, and then I, uh, of course, uh, the the next layer would be pot scrubbies all the way down on the next layer, just to show you real fast. I'm gonna mess this all up, but I have pot scrubbies on the very bottom, and so just think about this: the pad is on the bottom, and the pot scrubbies is on top of that pad. And then what I'm going to do is just simply put this here, okay? And then I'm going to put the pot scrubbies all the way around this. Now on this sponge, this is a four and a half inch sponge, but on this sponge I use the uh, ATI sponge and I cut a little sponge and I put one here in the middle so that uh, I can get as much biological out of this as I possibly can. I actually am going to really like this way because I feel like this is probably one of the better ways of how to set up this Eham 2217 to get some really nice biological filtration going on, and it does, and it only costs you honestly just pennies on a dollar, so to so to speak. You know, you buy these pot scrubbies. I think you can get them still online. I think for 15 bucks for like oh, I think like 20 or 30 of them or something. Um, and so that's what it's going to be like. Now, what I'm going to also do is add more pot scrubbies like right here on the top you know i'm going to add more sorry about that i'm going to add more pot scrubbies on the top now once all those pot scrubbies are going all the way around this is just for demonstration then i'm going to take a blue pad another blue pad and just put it right there on the top and so that's going to really ramp things up make things really nice just push it all down there and just make things really nice and, and just wrap everything up really, 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 really nice. And so uh, that's what I'm going to do to this, uh, to this filter here. Now also, I just wanted to point it out. Now take a look at how I got this right here all set up. See how I'm doing this, this next one? So what I'm just trying to say is, you know, uh, sometimes we have aquariums and we have aquarium parts that are just laying around. Well, if you have aquarium and aquarium parts that are just laying around, like I did for years, you never want to really throw those away. Sometimes you don't even want to sell them because you never know when you're going to reuse them. Now, I've just uh, made a nice little, sorry about that, <laughs> but I just made a nice little piece uh, for my uh, Eheim 2217. I use this Eheim part here. I don't know exactly what this belongs to. I bought it off of someone. And then I took another piece that I got from uh, my AA 
uh, UV sterilizer would stop working. So I just used this piece. And then I took these other pieces that I got from various other parts. And I think I got this piece from a, a Sun Sun canister filter. But these are all just pieces that I had laying around. And I was able to make this cool little design out of it. Hope you can see that good. But I was able to make this very cool design out of this. And so um, what I'm just trying to say is when you have aquarium parts just laying around, just see what you can come up with. See what you can come up with, kind, with some kind of de design. And if you can come up with some kind of design, become handy with that, you'll be surprised what you might be able to come out with. And so that's going to be the uh, output. And that's going to uh, output some nice water there. Uh, but yeah, these are, this is just made out of various parts. Just various parts that I had laying around. And so uh, that's just a little trick that I wanted to uh, share with everyone. I think this filter is going to be a really, really nice addition to the tank. Um, and so uh, I'm looking, looking forward to it. So there's one of my hacks. Just keep your stuff that you got, your filter pieces, your filter parts, whether that's from a canister, a power head, or, or a, a hang on the back, whatever. Just keep those parts laying around because you never know how you're going to be able to uh, work with that or be able to combine the parts in order to make something cool like this and so okay well just keep on hacking and i uh, hopefully i'll see you on the next video